Welcome everyone, I'm Winter, and usually when I'm playing Terran, it's in StarCraft 2. But here, we're with Planetside 2 in 2020, a little bit before the big Escalation update, which might be why you're watching this, or why I've coerced you to watch this. But I'm going to be doing a, a pretty basic new player guide. I don't pretend to be an authority on Planetside 2. I've been playing for a few years. I have an outfit of like-minded individuals who aren't the most effective soldiers, but what they don't have in quality, they make up for in quantity. But there are some basic things. I think the biggest thing for Planet Side 2 uh, is understanding that, yes, one, people are still playing. If you're coming back to the game, there's been some changes. And honestly, I've only been playing for a couple years, so I might not know all of them. But one of the biggest things for players is getting in, dying repeatedly many times over, maybe having people yell at you, depends, uh, and then kind of feeling left out lonely and not understanding why one way or another or getting frustrated and, and i sometimes do as well but first you have to pick from your factions uh and we're just i'm gonna create a new character character i'm probably gonna play a couple hours uh on the us east the emerald server but you can find communities on a server near you um you can pick from three and a half factions um or one correct one but you've got the Vanu Sovereignty, who uh, relies on their technology. Uh, they are a transhumanist cult of academics, intellectuals, and spandex worshippers who yada 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 shoot fancy bullets. The new conglomerate are rebels who don't understand authority, and uh, they uh, what they make up for what they don't have. In their brains, they make up for in the size of their bullets. They stereotypically do more damage with their uh, new conglomerate guns. They really love, they even strap shotguns to their fighter jets because that's an effective strategy. Anyways. And then, of course, the glorious Terran Republic, who are focused on the uh, laudable goal of combining the factions and regaining contact with the homeworld so they all can understand the might of the Republic. They shoot a whole lot of bullets. Uh, so Vanu, fancy bullets, new conglomerate, big bullets, Terran Republic, many bullets. And then, if you are a Planetside member, if you're playing free-to-play, you have access to all of these. For If you pay for the Planetside 2 membership, which is part of how the game makes money as a free-to-play game, uh, you can join the Nanite Specialist Operatives who uh, are mercenaries who fight for any side. And when they log into the server, they uh, are assigned to the faction with the least people there. So it helps to balance out the fights. So pretty much when you see one of those robots, they're sweaty tryhards, and you should tell them that. I'm going to make a Terran character. My outfit is uh, the Winter Gaming outfit on the Emerald server. Um, we do accept new players, and they will die a lot, but hopefully... Uh, they can follow some basic leading, and hopefully with this, you can too. We're just going to go ahead and say, Winter Lemming. Because as a new player, that name is available. How convenient. Uh, as a newer player and a lower level player, while you still have all the capability to kill enemies of a higher level, leveling doesn't give you that much. We're just going to go ahead and... You can tell what I'm closest to. And actually right now on Emerald, 32% only is on Terran. So it's the least populated faction. We can help the fight. And a lot of players, to, to go out of the Terran authoritative zone um, and get into the tutorial, a lot of players, they... Welcome, Private. Oh my god. This is a virtual we play on other factions at different times and have friends on different factions and all of that, so. There are no consequences in this area. So it's all right to make mistakes and take as much time So as the tutorial kind of sucks. Uh and it doesn't teach you much. That's the summary. This is the first thing you should understand. You got your basic controls W A S D. Use a mouse to turn and to look up and down. Believe it or not, yes, you use a mouse. So there are ways to skip the tutorial, which uh, you can actually... Okay, so here's the way to skip. You can join You can join any of the squads by pressing the P button and finding the squad finder for 
example, the Winter Gaming Squad here. And then you can use the insert key to automatically spawn near your squad leader. But if it's your very first time, the tutorial still has some value. Just FYI. The crouch key can be used to duck down and We're make crouching, all of that. Once I get past the tutorial here, which is relatively quick still, and it takes longer to this gravity pad lets you move up and down and do I will go through the settings the and path, some basic things that might help you the and, and they're of the kind of optional like they it's they're up to you to decide now this is capture important capture oh my god to take control of the region a successful uplink must be maintained in order to complete the transfer of control he's really just talking over me constantly isn't he? Down. <laughs> you can skip but if you're a very new player it does have some value okay Yes, we're waiting out the timer. It is important to check all these things. I never realized the tutorial killed my FPS more than almost anything else. My in-game FPS is 100. Frosty, this fight is all but one. We did it. The Republic is victorious. E to interact. When you interact with the terminal, your view will switch to a menu of options available at the terminal. Yes, the he's right. Resupply button on the left side of the terminal menu to equip your selected loadout and resupply all to change classes. Interact yes. with an equipment terminal. All right, we're going to be the infiltrator. Just as dangerous to your teammates as they are to the enemy. So it is essential you Friendly fire is on. Essentially every weapon. In By fact, default, I'm pretty sure every weapon does friendly fire. Friendly that is one very 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 head. important thing before you follow me into battle. Understand Friendly fire Enemy is on. Do not have any indicators above them unless they are spotted. The spot key the is by default Q. Is hip fire, where you shoot without careful aim. The area between your uh, and that keeps track. Well, once he shuts up, once again, I will go into more detail after the tutorial. But I do recommend you actually play it and listen to it uh, if it's your very first time. By right clicking on your mouth. This will yes, yes. Open the door. Headshots will do more damage to your target, especially if you are using a Yes, if you shoot them in the head, it's better. It do, does two Try times damage for most weapons. There are right. some exceptions. I have to kill one of these, right? This is a turret. I didn't finish killing the dummies. Okay, I'm sorry. So I'm actually going to go ahead and skip for the sake of this guide, but make sure to enjoy that experience. We're going to join. Um, and then insert key. Squad deploy is currently right. unavailable. Let me out. Go to Hawson. <laughs> Redeploy. Oh, I should explain what I just did. I'm sorry. Wow. This is why This is why the... Because uh, apparently Planet Side 2 gets a lot of new players every day. Um... But a lot of them don't stick around. Hopefully this helps you stick around. When you empty the magazine. Shh, shh, you can reload before the magazine is empty using the reload. Reloading is oh my god, Terran Jimmy. Okay, we're here. Okay, we're in the fight. We're on Hawson, also known as Space Nom. Um We're here. I'm first gonna leave my squad I joined. The P key, I'm i I'm gonna try to explain, because I've I've played for a while. A lot of things become really uh, ingrained that you don't even realize them. Let's start. Top left, you got your chat. You might be like, how do I get to chat? There's a lot of hot keys you can look up in the settings menu, but if you hit the alt key, it brings your cursor up, and you can type in the chat. I, I suggest do not using this, but if you want to yell to everyone on all factions in the current zone, you can slash yell. Oh, beat to the punch. Uh, also, what is items? I've never... S oh, you get items, and there's another chat tab. As you join other chats, more chat tabs will come up. Um, your current zone... Now, the mini-map. It starts default like this. I don't know why it didn't for me. But you have a small mini-map. The default hotkey for blowing up the mini-map size is the H key. I like to use the largest mini-map possible. And you can zoom in and out. Usually when I'm playing on the ground as an infantryman, I like to zoom in all the way. The bracket keys or your mouse scroll are by default how you do that. But if you're playing in a vehicle, you're covering a lot more ground, especially in aircraft quickly, you might want to zoom out some. Uh, and now before we get to any more of the UI, let me bring up the menu. Escape key. 
we're going to go to settings. Very first thing. It's, it's taken my settings from how I normally play, but I'm going to explain them. First, general. You've got your toggling on zoom and sprint. I prefer off just to hold it down and have like more precision. I prefer flying inverted. Flying is a whole nother deal. We're not really going to cover that besides lifting off and flying straight. That might be about it. If we can do that, we've already got more mobility than most new players. Invert tank reverse steering. steering. I didn't even realize I had this on, but it is what it sounds like. Makes it a little bit easier to go in reverse if you're bad at parking backwards like I am. Use raw mouse input. Once again, this is just for mouse accuracy. Reduce input lag. I usually, this is this is a processing power thing. And while Planet Sod 2 has gotten some significant updates to um, performance, in, in the past it has been notorious for being a game that is hard to run no matter almost how good your, your hardware. But it has been updated to DirectX 11, which means it can utilize your fancy-ass new graphics card if you have it, and, and processing power. And also, if you have an older one, it's more efficient. So give it a shot. It's free. Mouse acceleration, whoever turns that on, I don't want to talk to you. Decloak on fire. This one's for infiltrators. I have it by default on. Uh, so that way, if you're cloaked as an infiltrator or a cloaked ghost, if you would, um, you decloak when you press the fire button. You get a sense of the timing, and then you can fire again without having to hit the key. And auto join squad on login is exactly what it sounds like. This is kind of terrible, but it's good to at least, may maybe you hop into a squad you might like. You can always leave it. As for mouse sensitivity, I turn it way down. I have a default 800 DPI mouse. It's an FPS game. Now, you got to remember, in well, maybe not remember, but understand in Planet Side, there is a lot of whipping your mouse around, like for me. Um, this is, I'm just going to do a full, like, one s left to right on my mouse. It gives me almost a 180 here. Uh, that's if I'm really swinging wide, but uh, you do have to cover a lot of... It's not like Counter-Strike where you're staring at one spot constantly waiting for one pixel to move. You never know if that pixel's a person or not in Planet Side. Uh, you're moving around a lot. As for vehicles, this is all just... In, I've enabled the joystick mostly because I tried to fly with a flight stick. At one point, I succeeded, but only kind of. In fact, I'm going to disable that now. I don't know why I still have it on. Um, scoped and aim mouse sensitivity. Like These are just, you play around, you look around. Probably lower is better, um, just to have more accuracy when you're zooming in. And now interface. Draw HUD. I mean, uh, there's also a hotkey to turn off the heads-up display. This is mostly like if you're doing a YouTube video or something. Control F10 gives you cinematic mode where you can barely hit anything, but looks cool. Um, HUD indicator names. I'm I'm a big like I like having as much information as possible. That's that's what I like. So I, I pretty much turn everything on. Um, group logins, outfit logins. These are social features and all that. Warp continent notification. Eh, probably shouldn't hide that because you should know when you're going to another continent. Friends, tutorials and hints. Even though that first tutorial was a disaster uh this is actually kind of helpful in game uh i'd recommend once you get like you once you get a feel for it you turn it off uh because it does get annoying after a while but for for a day or two so so radical and auto ignore uh, more social stuff hud mode uh i prefer the centralized vitals we can take a look at the other ones here you got ones that are on the Let side that go away until you use certain abilities, like I'm using my jump jet here, for example. That one looks pretty cool. And then you can have them in the corner, in the bottom right corner over here. For, yeah, in, in case you just feel like no one will ever hit you and never need to look at how many bullets are in your magazine or have a 12-inch monitor, then maybe that works for you. But I, I just prefer the default one. Uh, <laughs> And then health numbers, you can see. This actually was added kind of recently, for those of you wondering. Because, um, we'll get into this, but guns do a certain amount of damage uh, at certain ranges. And by default, each character has 500 HP and 500 shields. There are a few ways. The infiltrator, unless it's using a specific uh, upgrade to its armor, um, it is. It, they have 500-400. 
so they have less. They have less than that thousand base. There's no difference between health and shields except the way they come back. Uh, uh, from my understanding, there are only a very select few weapons that do damage either only or more to shields or only or more to health. Um, those include Major. things like EMP I'll grenades. Filter profanity. Wait. Uh, so this replaces... I didn't even realize I had this on. So this replaces every uh, unchristian word with Higby um, in the chat. So if you're wondering why you see so much of that person's name, that apparently was a uh, historically a Planet Side 2 developer who's no longer a developer. But... Um, I actually didn't realize this was on, so uh, that explains a lot. Uh, and then in active chat, this is mostly just uh, preferences. And I've changed the empire colors. Uh, actually, is this the default version? It might be. I've slightly adjusted them. And so there are a couple options. You could have, like, if you're Terran, your default color is red. And this throws a lot of people off, right? Like... Uh, I think a lot of people are not used to red to being the color of your friends. But you quickly, I, I pretty quickly realize that if it ain't red, it probably should be dead. Um, so, it's up to you whether or not you want to have your teammates as a different color. Like, you got squad colors and all that. But I prefer to have the factions as their own color. Um, it is a little, if you're really new, I, I'd imagine that is a little misleading. But... So, for graphics options, there are definitely more comprehensive videos about this. One of the big ones um, is render distance. Render distance is essentially, like, if you're up in the air, you can see further. It is kind of self-explanatory. If you're really just focused on infantry and you, you don't do a lot of vehicle stuff and you don't have a great computer, you can probably turn this down to around 1,000. Uh... Another big one is shadow quality, where you can turn it all the way off. That's a big performance boost if you have a terrible computer. No offense. Uh, <laughs> why is there no music here while I'm sitting? I should have put music on in the background. Do it, do, Jimmy, give me the music. No, none of that NC crap. Can we get the Terran? There we go, better. And then, yeah, graphics, check out, uh, the graphics options haven't changed significantly. It's just performance across the board has been increased relatively recently, just last year, 2019. Audio options, uh, ideally, you have more voice channels, but hopefully you don't need more than 96 voice channels, though you might. <laughs> That's on the table. And then you can manage all these here. And... This is a team game. Talking to people is a big part of it. So voice chat is, it works surprisingly well most days. Every once in a while it has a mess. It, it becomes terrible. But um, voice chat is a big part of the game. Uh, coordinating, like when you have 300 teammates, it's a lot, it's a lot harder than when you have three, for example. Um, so you can enable voice, which I recommend you do. Uh, I'll give you some tips on that in a sec. And toggle proximity chat, that is, um, hey bitches! What? You can what? hear all the nerds around. Um, and then you can test your microphone. What's up? So this is if you're not in a squad and not in a, uh, not in a platoon, you can still hear people around you. And you can turn that off if you want to. And soon, when Sanctuary is added, you may be able to hear the proximity chat of the other factions, which will bring me immediately to the hotkeys for voice chat. Uh, I've got some recommendations myself. Like, the default for a lot of stuff is similar. I've got squad voice chat. It's actually on the... Wait, why? I have, I have overlapping hotkeys here, I realize now. But... Oh my god, I just realized this. Some of my squads have been listening to me. Uh, on mouse button 4, I put voice chat on mouse button 5 because I do a lot of platoon leading. Join my outfit. Um, proximity is on Z. And then on the numpad, I have the less... And yes, these are all channels that sometimes you'll be using. you got outfit voice chat. You have uh, squad leader voice chat, which is actually command chat is what it's called. It's the squad leaders throughout the continent. We're getting a little complicated here. 
And there's a lot of different hotkeys. I'm trying to think of big hotkeys have changed. Um, by default, your utility or your ability is on the F key. That's a big one. Uh, I'm, I'm not thinking of any, like, infantry hotkeys that are huge. If I think of them, I will uh, mention it. Toggle attachment is something that isn't obvious in fire group X and B. There's a custom channel Princeton. hockey. I didn't even know you could do custom channels. Thank you, Maddox. All right, so we've gone through one of the menus. Let's go through the rest of the menus. Might be like, Winter, get into the action. Well, skip through the video. And if you're watching the stream, be, be patient. If you skip through, you're going to be frustrated with Planet Side in 12 seconds. And if you're someone who gets frustrated in 12 seconds, well, probably not going to like Planet Side very much. So, this is your profile screen. It doesn't have... There's nothing here to really change. I, I guess you can... I like my privates. Um, you can look at your stats and all that. The leaderboard is for people to show off their massive e -peens, People who will kill you. 54 times with no mercy and then probably teabag you after and you have no chance of killing them so take a look and never look again uh now this is the one thing you can do experience boosts and resource boosts i'll explain what those are in a sec these are not so now the resources we have down here there's going to be more added with the upcoming patch but for now the big resources are nanites and certification points Nanites are resources used to spawn vehicles and resupply consumable items. For example, if I wanted to spawn, let's go out here. This is how you get vehicles in Planet Side 2. This is one, the main way to do so. There's also player constructed bases, but we're not going to get into that yet. For example, a flash is 50 nanites. A sunderer, a mobile spawn point, is 200 nanites. And a lightning tank, which is a basic tank, is 350. And then your main battle tank for the faction the Prowler is 450. You, by default, get 50 nanites every single minute. So, you lose that immediately. 450 nanites, you can't get another one for 9 minutes. Uh, and then infantry has smaller things that cost nanites. For example, your grenade. Does a grenade cost? Yes, grenades cost nanites. So every time you spawn, it's 50 nanites. Ideally, you're not respawning more than once a minute, so you don't run out of that. Uh, other things like C4 cost nanites as well, which you can unlock. And I will talk about unlocks in a moment. There's a lot. There's a lot to understand. And then certification points. This is how you unlock things. Let me tell you right now. The thing you don't buy with them, and you will not buy, at least until like level 20, are weapons. The reason in planet side you are dying is not because he has a gooder gun than you but because he shoots more gooder. And yes, it does take some getting used to, uh, the feel for everything. And there's a few other little details like armor. Um, but now that we've established certification points of what you're trying to gain, you get experience by doing productive things, whether it's healing uh, and reviving your teammates as a medic, killing enemies outright, capturing bases, killing, destroying vehicles, uh, accomplishing continent objectives like, say, winning the continent lock that's currently happening right now. Now we're back to this screen. In the top right, up there, uh, is an alert that we can see on the map screen. Now this isn't complicated at all. On the map screen, we can see everything that's going on in this continent with hundreds of people. Right, right now we see with 21 minutes left on the continent lock alert, the Vanu have absolutely dominated it. They are at 56% territory. But now that we're on the map screen, let's talk about it. Uh, now, looking on my own, there's a lot going on. We're tearing. We're in the red. So, I'm going to redeploy. I'm going to get into the fight. Before spending any certification points, before doing anything. And, by the way, on my Discord, and I will try to link it, um, I have, ex like, we have a guide of what to spend your first thousand certification points on. Um, but now I'm going to get into the fight, so here's the here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get to battle rank 3, and then I'm going to join my outfit. But And I'm going to find a squad to work with, because this is how I feel a lot of new players. I see a lot of very low-level players just running around, either being an infiltrator, sniping in the hills, or something like that. 
Maybe I should show you what a battle looks like before assuming. But I'm going to look around. If you hover over each base, if you look over on this side, you can see how many people are there, approximately, what percentage are on which faction, and if there are points being captured, which, which faction is capturing them, and how long before they are fully captured. So, for example, here we see a base being captured by the new conglomerate with only 1 to 12 people, and the Terrans actually have more. I'm going to go there to try to save it. There are only 30 seconds left. I'm going to pick Heavy Assault, which is your strongest infantry class in a heads-up fight. So we're into battle. First thing, look at the minimap. I see enemies on the minimap. If they don't have a chevron, the chevrons are teammates and people who are spotted. That's why spotting is so important. The first thing to do when you see someone is spot them, even before shooting them. Ideally at the same time as shooting them. But I'm going to go in, activate my overshield ability in a moment. We see somebody up there. We'll spot. The point is... Oh. I got killed. That guy snuck up on me. And we lost the point. And by snuck up, I mean popped out. But I wasn't looking forward, and he killed me. So now, when you get into a fight, ideally... Especially if you're starting out, you're not running in just like that. The most reliable way to get certification points early on is to be a medic and use your revive tool. Now we'll look at your weapons and your loadouts. So, the first thing that you're going to want to invest in early on across the board is your suit. Instead of any of these, what you want is nano weave armor. Nano weave armor reduces damage taken from small arms by 20%. Now, there are other suits that have other uh, things, but across the board, the most reliable way to be closer to winning those fights is having nano weave armor. Uh, some classes already have it as an option, but nano weave armor is kind of necessary, otherwise, you, you die in one fifth less bullets, potentially. So. Since I have zero certification points, which is not very many, I can't buy anything. So let's get into the fight a little. Now that we're done talking, enough talk. Let me try to fight. Vex Biologics, we're defending bi Biochem. So you might be like, well, I don't have a spawn point. If you redeploy with the U key by default, I'm throwing a lot at you. Uh, you can see your spawns, but wait up to 15 seconds. After 15 seconds, secondary spawns. Spawns that aren't as stable. Uh, or as, uh, there are priority one and priority two, I believe is how it's described. So, priority one spawns are almost instantly available. You can respawn in a few seconds. Priority two spawns take about 15 seconds, uh, in order to be part of it. So, that sometimes faces, I'm spawning at a Sunderer, a mobile spawn platform. Oh, there's a guy over there. But, oh, I'm gonna dance out. And I actually don't have a sight on this gun. It's very hard to see. Oh, so I'm going to use my healing ability right now. Damn. The medic has a nano heal ability that heals in an AoE around you. It's not a lot, but... So, uh, I'll let you in on a secret. Medics are less for healing. They're more for reviving. Because we saw a guy in there, but I don't want him to get the initiative. Ideally, I'm the second one shooting at someone. Since I'm a medic, I can support my team. There's some people in there. And I shot my teammate in the back. We got a kill! My first kill! Congratulations. Um, what was your name? Tekken Core? Uh, T TK Core MC. I killed him. And now I have some... So, oh, you can hear... Oh, here they come! There's a lot of them! Concussion grenade! I'm jumping into the Sunder. I'm trying to jump into the Sunder. I failed. Do you get free sights? That's a question. But one of the first things, not a new weapon, but a better weapon. That's important. Important distinction um, is adding reflex sights. The Terran Republic is notorious. So I have only Terran Republic specific weapons, but it's notorious for having, uh, still using their old school iron sights, which are bad. Um, I'd recommend one-time sights on most weapons. 3.4 might seem like a good idea, but on this rifle, not so much. But 
having the iron sights is very bad. You can take a look at the weapons and their damage and all that, but let's get back to fighting. Oh, is that Sunderer not dead yet? But so many people are dead around it. I don't want to die again. Oh, this base. Now, it's a close fight. It's 12 to 24, but maybe I can turn the tides. I'm going to play Light Assault. So, Light Assault has a jetpack. Um, and they can fire while flying. Another thing about aiming is your accuracy is affected by whether you're sprinting, um, you're walking, or you're aiming down sight, and then crouching. Those are each uh, more uh, accurate. When you're flying with a jetpack as a light assault, you have the accuracy of someone who's running. So it's not, you can't aim down sight while, while flying like this over the walls is the most obvious way to do it. There's a guy over there, but since I'm probably not going to kill him, I'm not going to try to shoot him right now. This guy, though. Usually, if you're not able to get a lot of good shots on someone in the first burst or two, then you don't want to stick around to let them shoot back at you. Because as a light assault, I don't have the strongest... Uh, I don't have the strong shields of a heavy assault who has the overshield. Oh, there's a guy right behind me. The mini-map, they popped out of their harasser. Why do you guys hate me so much? I'm sorry, I should have looked at the death cam. Sometimes if you get killed, the a new recent addition to Planet Side 2 is the death cam, where you can see who killed you and watch where they are for a short time. I'm going to go light assault again. Uh, and that can be helpful for learning, like, I don't even know how I died. At least you can figure out who did it. Just, just a point, after you, kill, after you die, they might have a certain amount of HP. You might be like, I put a bunch of bullets in that guy and he didn't die. It's not super accurate. Sometimes it depends on the latency of the players. So even if you shot a guy and he only had 20 HP left, it might look like he has full HP. It's not perfect, uh, and it's sometimes really hard to tell. I'm going to spot that guy, but my weapon is not a long-range weapon, so I'm not going to try to shoot him from here. Oh, infiltrator! So sneaky. Oh, there's another guy to the left. I'm going to go up and throw a grenade. Oh, no. I went up a little too high. There's some momentum. Hey, I got him. But then I got shot in the head by a sniper who was cloaked. 100 certification points. Battle rank 2. And you know what the first thing I'm going to do is? On all the classes that don't have it, I'm going to buy my Nana Weave armor. We're going to get the level 1. So, important to note. The upgrades, the upgrades don't actually increase the amount you absorb um, or reduce damage. It increases the other sources with which you take damage. So it can go up to, like, uh, Heavy Assault has level 5, so let's look at that. Essentially everything is reduced by 20%, but the vast majority of what you should, at least early on, be fighting is small arms fire. That is essentially everything I have right now is small arms, so... Uh, that's what I'm focused on defending against. There's the medic. The medic has it. The infiltrator. Get my nano, nano weave armor. And the next thing I'm going to be working on are med kits. So, one thing I haven't talked about is implants. Implants cost ISO. You get ISO from participating in continent alerts and objectives. Don't worry too much about implants early on until you have at least f a few hundred ISO to work with. Implants are pretty, they're helpful, but they are something you unlock a little later on. They are a minor increase to your effectiveness um, that allows you to play certain styles better, um, whether it's being able to reload quicker after hitting a headshot or maybe getting some ability energy back, stuff like that. I'm looking around, and since I don't have a squad, I'm just kind of floating around fights. At level three, I'm gonna join one. So what is this? I'm gonna play Infiltrator. So Infiltrator is, everything but shooting is pretty good on Infiltrator. They have a cloaking device, which is, pretty nice. It's like a Dark Templar in StarCraft. 
Uh, they have a choice of radar darts or uh, a motion spotter, both of which are very helpful to your teammates to see where enemies are because they track any fast, like enemies that are running or shooting a lot easier. You can see them on the minimap. But sitting back and trying to snipe people from 500 feet away is uh, not the most effective. The thing, the part of Infiltrator I think a lot of new players miss, and, and it's fine to play like the way you like to play, but the reason why being an Infiltrator who just snipes people from super far is by the time you could actually take that position, they have respawned and gotten back to the same spot. So it can be okay for getting, oh no! I saw him. Oh my god, he killed me with a crossbow. How rude. I'm gonna play medic. I see a lot of teammates. No more infiltrator. Oh no, liberator! Is that a new conglomerate liberator? I'm trying to spot it. Wait. It won't let me spot it. Oh no, well. Was it too low to be. S oh, it's shooting! Okay. Liberators are mostly anti-ground gunships, but they also can do some anti-air capability. They have three slots where you can sit. Okay. Here's a tip. is uh, So your medic tool. This is used for healing and reviving. It works twice as fast if you're activating your nano regen heal ability. I did not learn this till I was already level 100. So if you... You can activate it for a split second, and if you really like playing Medic, you want to max it out. Because the level 5 is actually about twice as good as the rest of the levels combined. Uh-oh. These guys are mean. As a Medic, you will die many times trying to revive your teammates, but you shouldn't be scared to fight back. Oh. Someone saved me. I got an assist, though. So it, you get a proportional amount of XP. You don't get the kill, but if you do 99% of the damage and some guy, like, taps him on the shoulder and he falls out of fear and dies and he gets credit for the kill, you still get 99% of the XP for the kill. So uh, that is... It, it. It's not a big... Kill steals only matter to people who uh, are on those leaderboards I talked about. They do matter for a handful of uh, implants and stuff like that, um, like uh, those those specialized things. But oh, this guy! I really want to be burst firing more. But I see people are coming in from that left side. And right here, oh, we see on the minimap they're going to come through those doors. I'll heal this guy. Yep, he's on a turret right now, and that guy, not C4, right around the corner. Get the gun out. Get the gun out. That was a sneaky light assault player. Oh, no. I got caught with my... Get the infiltrator. Somebody kill this man! Where'd he go? Yay! I'm hide behind the corner. Uh-oh. Behind me. Another one! Aim for the head! So when you see the double, uh, the amount of damage you're doing... Uh, if you get a headshot, you see an X. If your weapon does enough damage, you'll have like an X in a circle. Oh, that guy was aiming right for me. But, level three. I feel like I'm an experienced soldier, and I'm going to join an outfit. Why is this the first one that comes out? It, is this like, uh... Does it know me, or is it actually the first one that just comes up? It's like, this is for casual players. You are a casual player. Well, let me apply. I hope they'll accept me. Uh, the process is, so there are only a handful of people, the reason there's even an application process that has to be reviewed, um, wait, did it, 
somebody's getting kicked out of the guy. How dare you? I got rejected. Oh, I've joined the outfit. So this screen will change a lot with the new out uh, update. Right now, to be honest, and for the history of Planet Side 2, it has been a glorified friends list. Um, where it's easy to invite people and they work together, but there was no long-term objectives. No, the part of the reason. Open, now we got to just first with voice chat, very important. In order to turn up someone who's currently talking, you can press the plus key or the uh, minus key on your numpad or rebind that. But also you can go into voice and chat and find the details here where you can change the overall volume of certain chats, like say outfit chat, or turn down people individually uh, more particularly. I'm gonna use my outfit. Can I get an invite? We don't have a squad moment. But I don't. How do you lead a squad? Because, of course, while I'm eager to learn, uh, it's far too scary to lead a squad myself. All that responsibility and players like me. And also, that was a We're lie. We're suddenly a platoon. So, I've joined a platoon, and some platoons, if they're random players, will have almost nobody talking. On Europe, I've noticed not nearly as many people talk, probably because not all of them speak the same oh, language as reliably. You are now in On the service. Emerald server, US East, the most Thanks people the in random squads and stuff talk. With reviving. Thank Never you, Kiki. Um, and I, usually when you're in, your out, when, in an outfit like mine, or with friends, of course, people are talking. Sometimes they'll be trying to, like, win the alert, accomplish certain objectives. Some are focused on things like vehicles. Uh, it, But I'm going to do my best to follow the objective. we got Eastern Substation, the platoon waypoint here. Um, we get used to the waypoints after a little while. I'm going to play Medic. Wait, let's see. Do I have enough certification points for med kits for myself? I'm going to get a couple medical kits. So med kits allow you to heal yourself. Um, you can use, as a medic, you can use, you get two of them. It means I spawn with two, uh, essentially. Technically, medics are able to use their AoE heal device in order to heal themselves, but med kits heal a chunk of your health. You stab it into your arm, and if you, even if you got a shot in the head, it's all fixed up because it's an injection of nanites. And you might be like, how does any of that work? The answer, nanites. Just like every sci-fi show for the last... Vanguard's moving on the Sunder. Um, however many years. And also, all of Planet Side 2. Alright, he's dead. So there's a Vanguard tank. Oh, big boy. Thank you. Thank you for save. Somebody saved me. That means they shot him before that guy could kill me, essentially. I'm gonna revive. Right click for- Ah! Fuck. NC shotguns. So, I'd recommend every time you die for your first at least 10 levels, Try to explicitly figure out why. Not just like what weapons they were using, or uh, what faction they were, or what level they are, but like, could you please fire your gun once you have the bug? Oh my god. So there's a bug that occasionally happens where it looks like somebody's firing their weapon constantly, but on their screen they're not. And is actually fixed when they do actually fire their weapon. Uh, so, I went up a lift pad. You gotta move around on those lift pads. <laughs> but, like, for example, that last time I died because I walked right in front of an open door. For no reason. Because you have pretty decent range. On your, uh, your medical tool. It's, I believe it's increased with higher levels. I'm not sure about that. 
between all of us, we should be able to hit him. Did we get him? I think we got him. <laughs> So we're going for the point. Unfortunately, the uh, alert is about to end, which means we'll be going to another continent. Oh no! Austin has been lost to the Vanu sovereignty. The Vanus. That means another continent will unlock, but sometimes, depending on the time of day you're playing, there will be uh, a continent already open. Depending on, usually, if they're over, uh, a continent opens if there are over 700 players on the server. Uh, and then closes when it's locked. Usually later at night, and it's like, right now for me, it's a hour and a half. Um, not an hour and a half. It's an hour and a half after midnight, also known as 1.30. Uh, Make the call. Are we going to Esamir or Emirates? I'm going to use the numpad minus key uh, to turn that down a little. So, Esamir, the winter con had just opened up, uh, but Amorish is also well he came in big spot. Oh god. HK can I leave or are you comfortable leading? And you can absolutely lead. Where are we going? I'm I'm listening to the explosions and I'm trying to figure out our platoon is gonna go to one of these places. Uh, we are going to Amrish. So I'm going to go to Amherst, which means deploy at the warp gate. What are those big lines on the map? That's a good question. Those Actually, are... Actually... you got to be, be able to react. In a split looks like second. most of the population is heading to Azimir, so let's head over. We're going to a different continent. Those are lattice lines. Uh, you can't capture the base unless you have a lattice connection to it. That's to prevent... A bunch of people get behind enemy lines and capturing bases, which, while it sounds like a fun... Oh my god, some... Can I get a hell yeah, brother? Oh, well, that's... Alright. Yo, THK, can I also get squad lead? So, people are spawning at the warp gate, which is the essentially the main base of the faction, and then lattice lines go out from there. Uh, if you don't capture a base that's connected by lattice lines, then you cannot assault other bases. This continent just opened up, so this is, it starts at a base level, and each time a continent opens, the warp gates rotate. Like this time, the TR takes the eastern warp gate, but next time we might be the uh, northwestern one. So, as the, as the continents are captured... I'm currently stuck on Emmerich, so THK, could you pull a galaxy and make your way over to a galaxy is a large it's a space whale where good soldiers go to die when their teammates crash them into things but it is also the most reliable oh my god it is also the most reliable transport method um because it flies. There's also Sunderers on the ground, which can hold up to 12 people, a whole squad. But uh, they aren't as fast because they don't fly. And if you're in a squad or a platoon, if you redeploy, you can spawn into your squad's galaxy, which allows you to join up with your team. And for some reason, people are able to use Oh, for if you want, if you don't have a mic or you don't want to use a mic, there are also some basic voice I'm lines you can access with the V key, which have limited functionality. Is that a question? Uh, I'm fine. Am I dropping on the deck or inside? Uh, the deck. Then we can drop onto inside. Oh, we're attacking into a tech plane. There are some sneaky ways to do it. Eventually, once you play with platoons and outfits enough, you know the styles and stuff they like to do. He actually is landing us on the bel- Oh, oh my god, just barely. But on the balcony of the tech plant, so we can get inside without going through a choke point. I need a medic! Three, 
beta, so I'm going to maintain the brutality on the deck as long as possible. Feel free to spawn in and drop out from it. I'm a medic, so I'm going to be the second wave. Patrol you want to let the heavy assaults go in front, ideally. Well, I, I should still try to participate. I don't want to get killed for no reason. Because then, if you run out of medics, you can't revive your teammates, and they have to try to respawn somehow, which is pretty unreliable. Oh, it's not. So that is, uh... To be advised, the fire at Isa Mountain has been put out. 15 seconds. That is one of the best players on the server. Uh, his name is Zonquiqui, and he is one of those leaderboard uh, players that just always seems to kill you no matter how hard you try, especially if it's 1v1 and you don't have five teammates behind you. You guys, look behind you! Holy! So it appears that many of my fellow Terrans do not have directional awareness. Uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> I mean, yelling at them in proximity chat, shooting the guy is the most reliable way to deal with the problem. But also, then you gotta yell at your teammates and tell them they're bad because that increases morale. At point, they're taking jump pads to get onto balcony and hold balcony as hard as you can. They're behind us and they're in front of us. So this is a. Uh, oh, that's a concussive grenade! Ah! Oh my god. It's a meat grinder. Where did their jump? Oh no, our galaxy is gone. The space whale has been beached. I'm sending a frag grenade out. Ideally, eventually I get a revive. Oh, I got someone. Another one. Now poke, poke back. You don't want to be looking... Oh my god, so let the bodies hit the floor. I'm reviving as fast as I can. Unfortunately, I only have the level 1 medic tool, which takes a long time. I'm telling you the level 5 medic tool, but if you're big on being a medic and a team player, you get it. It's literally three times as fast to revive. Oh no! He's gonna explode! That was a suicide bomber, nanite specialist robot. Um, they have an ability, that ability, where after 10 seconds or so, they explode. And, uh, it's essentially a robot vein lane. Alright, heavy assault, I want you to push towards point. Everyone else stay on the balcony. Actually, I want the medics to also go towards point. If medics go towards point? I'm a medic, I go towards point. Oh no! Looks like the allies will have Since it. I so taking out um, taking out your secondary is quicker than your main. Ah, that guy got me. Underneath the stairs. But we were trying to push towards the capture point because you can't capture a base without capturing a capture point. Uh, some bases have multiple, some bases have one. This is one of the biggest, this is in fact the most important base on Asimir. It is the Isa Tech Plant, which is the only tech plant on the entire continent. And part of the reason that's important is because if you don't own a tech plant, you can't get and make your way back to the main battle tanks. You can't get prowlers in our case. You can't get your big tanks except from the warp gate if you uh, don't have a tech plant. Other, other... Uh, other continents have more than one tech plant. Can use a few more medics if you are volunteer. Please volunteer. That guy was sneaky. How did he even get there? I don't know. There's a guy. So this is how you get down the tech plant to the balcony. Oh wait, is that the right way? I mean, I could shoot from up here, but I can't revive from up here without a revive grenade. Oh my people! Oh, fuck. And another reason to be in a squad, besides, uh, another, oh no, that guy. Another reason to be in a squad is anything you do with a squad, you get more XP. And therefore, more certification points. Because every 250, oh my god, I got sniped by that guy over there. Um... Where is our platoon waypoint? Oh, right here, Echo Valley Substation. This is a smaller base, but I'm still going to play as Medic. 
I'm going to switch it up a little, but medic, I think, is the best way to learn while still actually being responsible for shooting things. Light Assault is fun, but it isn't a great team player. Heavy Assault is good, but if you don't really understand how the shooting works, it's kind of a waste. Um, obviously, this guy taking some bullets here. Ooh, directive. I got a healing ribbon. Oh, no. If I res him, it's giving away our position. And by that, I mean I'm obviously here. Oh, no. So scary. Back in the spawn room. No battles were ever won in the spawn room, soldier. I know that, but I can't win a battle if I'm dead. Okay. I see my teammates on the mini-map kind of moving in. But suddenly, it's 45 to 55% uh, people in favor of the new conglomerate, but... Uh, that updates about every 15 seconds. And at some point... Oh. Where? I don't even know where I'm being shot from. Oh, it's a light assault. Stop right? moving out from oh, spawn. It's... Take teleporter in spawn and then move towards the point. The squad leader is smart. We take the teleporter. We can go to another... A lot of bases have a teleporter that allows you to go to a secondary point. No sometimes point it's close. Sometimes it's far away on this base. It's... The teleporter is the uh, little, like, um... That little icon we just passed to the bottom right on the minimap, I can't even describe it. Uh, <laughs> but it's that thing. That's the indication of some sort of teleporter. Okay. Are people going this way? No, yes. There's a turret up there. Engineer turret. Technically, you can snipe them out on the engineer turret. Uh, there's like a little gap where their head goes. I got a hit indicator, but... Oh. Don't want to shoot my team. Stand behind them. Let the heavy assaults do the work. Does anyone have any eyes on Sunderers? It should... It should be in the north. So now we're holding the point room? Uh, this is how we take this base. Well, are we defending? Yes. So we have the spawn room and the point room. The only way they can attack this base is, well, there, there are a few options. They can either drop. Ooh. Oh, watch. I'm going to use one of those med kits. Stab those nanites in. There you go. Oh, watch out. One more outside. I suspect, suspect the Sunder is they're more coming the in. Tower and they're pulling I'm going to activate my healing device before I engage. So that way I might be able to survive one more bullet if I heal enough during the fight. Alpha Squad Waypoint is current objective. Push your way over there and let's get rid of that spawn. I'm gonna try to res my teammate. Oh, there's a guy outside. So much time. Oh. Another. Headshots are very good. If you can get a beat on him. We're doing very well over here. Oh. I'm killing these guys. They're level 60. They're level 100. They might even be over level 100. But 47. And I'm level 5. Because, well, you know, it's it's not just that I'm aiming better. They're not even aiming at me. Makes it pretty easy. Just got to line up the shots. I've done, I've accomplished the most of my faction on this base so far. My teammates killed the Sunder. Oh, that's a grenade. That guy might not make it. Oh, shit. They're coming in. I'm going to hide behind the corner. Was that? Don't tell me that was a motion spotter. Oh, my God. I'm part of the problem. So, you may have noticed the thing on the ground next to me. Um, The thing on the ground next to me. That was a motion spotter. That was giving the NC... Uh, vision on the mini map of our positions. Of Don't worry too much about Nobody the point. on my on faction noticed it, including me who was standing right next to it. You can kill it with three or four shots. I could have just shot it a couple I times. Oh god, a tank thunder. is shelling us. It's just out. It's on green smoke. Oh, watch out. They've got Reavers. Those are NC aircraft, and they have shotguns on them usually. They take damage to your rifles and such, but not that much. Like enough people, like a dozen people firing on one will bring it down pretty quick, but they are, they are pretty quick as well. They're pretty fast. Okay. So 
So we could try to push across here. The point is on the other side. There are a couple bridges. It's going to be a little dicey. I got hit by an EMP grenade, which strips your shields. Oh no. Uh, I can't. How close are they? They're very close. They're gonna come around that corner in a sec. They're right there, yeah. You can see the mini-map, and you can also hear them. Oh my god, his face! His beautiful face! Oh, fuck. They're still on the other side of those bridges. But we have teammates who look at the mini-map. You can see our teammates are pushing in. Fuck! He threw a C4 brick right there. I ran away as quick as I could, but if it hits you, you're probably dead. I, I got just far enough away to not get blasted. Oh, I don't want to chase him myself. There might be another guy behind me, or I might just be dumb. Okay. What a save. Because... I didn't realize it was a light assault, but I guess it, it makes sense. He used those jetpacks. I don't know how I'm supposed to push, but... I'm kind of... I'm not even waiting for a target. I'm just trying to hit corners. I'm not hitting anything. I got no hit markers. Now I do. I'm running out of time. I'm going wait for my shields and go. 30 seconds. We don't have time. Push on the point. Give it a shot. Ah! Light assault! How do you set up key bindings for an Xbox controller? I don't own a mouse at the moment. My best recommendation for you is buy a mouse for $2. Makes this game kind of pay to win, I know, but... We weren't able to crack. Yeah, we're I killed, to but that. there's more. Trying to try, trying to kill two people in one engagement is a recipe for disaster, even if you're pretty good at aiming. They spawn behind me. That would be a way to deal with the cutoff. Yes. Incursions, please pull a gal for Bravo. I'm gonna pull a gal for Alpha. We're gonna make our way over to the Amir. So we're gonna do a galaxy drop. I spawn logistics there. When it comes to vehicles, vehicles are. Just take it if you have spawn logistics there. I'd recommend not worrying too much, especially about the vehicles that shoot. Uh, <laughs> until you're a little higher level. Because unlike infantry, which does not require many certification points before you're essentially up to speed. And you saw there, despite us losing that base, we only held on so long partially because I was sitting there. And I, it's not like I'm good at aiming. Um, uh, you can tell. But being in the right spot and pointing in the right direction and not poking my face out too much. Uh, that is most of planet side. So... Of course, being with an effective squad can help, uh, but Would even you if you're playing solo, you finding the bases terminal? is pretty important. Uh, yes. The bases and areas Break to fight at. Three, like two, where we're going right now, one, drop. it's going to be messy. I'm probably going to die. Thanks. But another thing is every player has a squad beacon and a squad, and they can use that I to mean, help their teammates thunder. respawn. Show me what you're oh, I hear shots to the right. And let's see. I'm looking yeah. at the mini-map a lot. Oh. Just on that guy. Bravo, do you have, uh, oh, there's one on the left. So they could be hitting us from so many different angles right now. That's a max. I can't kill them. So here's a... Here's a... Here's a... Rule of planet side. If you stand still, or even if you stand close to still, there's always some random ass cloak guy ready to take your face off. Alpha, uh, I want you to spawn at 
one waypoint and make your it way is harder than it looks. Oh, we're going to use a jump pad a jump from a bio pad lab to attack. Because we have a spawn point from Ymir Mine Watch over here. Unless we can't spawn there. I can't spawn there. Because we're cut off. Same. Ah, uh, yeah. We are cut off from that point, which means Great. we actually... Right. It's a little bit bugged. So where are we going? Oh, oh no. A maximum pressure alert. Surface. In that Thank you, Motomani. Let's quickly re-secure Manny Fortress. So this, uh, how does it work? You are Sometimes there are alerts access, that aren't kind of lock alerts that, are, that you're supposed to accomplish certain objectives. And if you're first place, you get extra rewards. Um, in this Otherwise, case, like this is one of the least one subtle alerts. You are able to spawn in a max suit for free, which is essentially you put your guy in a big robot suit with big ass guns and way more HP and a bunch of armor. Once the max is pulled, I want you uh, to go Usually they're very way, expensive. 450 nanites. Way. You can only get one every um, nine minutes. Uh, infantry, please deal but with the generator. But now they're free. And essentially all factions are having a team deathmatch across the entire server. Uh, the way you spawn a max suit, you can't do it from the spawn screen. And by the way, I should mention that. Sometimes you can uh, just decide what you're going to be on the spawn screen. You don't have to go to this terminal. But for maxes, you do. They do, well, if they're free, they're fine. But you do sometimes have to put some certification points into them to make them stabilized. extra effective. You start with one anti-infantry and one anti-vehicle weapon, which is usually Can you want to pick beacons? one or the other. But you have to buy weapons for your right and left arm. So really they're just there to be the big boy everybody shoots at. Alpha 11, where are you going? This game is hard. Also, 100% I wasn't listening to him. Can we get a beacon? You, you want to come up this way. All right, here we go. Oh, wait a second. All right, let's take the jump pad. We're taking the jump pad to the Violam. Uh, by the way, he said Alpha 11. I'm in Alpha Squad, and my number is 11. You can see we're on the left side beacon. near the minimap. And we're taking a jump pad a all the way SCU. from a base to a bio lab. Objective is SCU ultimately, yes. We are making our way over to the generator now. Bio labs are well known as farms. As in, it's very difficult if the enemy can test it to, like, have a decisive... To decisively take one. Because there's a lot of ways to die and a lot of ways to kill. But not a lot of ways to reliably take a majority of the points. We're waiting till Manny Fortress is resecured, and then once that is resecured, we will have a lattice connection and be able to take the base. Let Winter. Oh wait, Winter Lemon's in a max. He can't flip the generator. Never mind. Yeah, when you're in a max, you don't have fingers, even though you do have fingers. So you can't do things like capture a point or take a down save. a shield generator, which, because uh, of nanites. Because of nanites, they, um, you have to be in an infantry suit, because max suits have bad nanites, and infantry have good nanites to be able to do all of that. It's more of a balance thing, but <laughs> it's obviously only a balance thing. So there's, they have a spawn room. Uh, I'll show you it, but this is, if there were more people here, it'd be super risky. Whoa! Hey, big boy. So... Yeah, they have a spawn room right there. Uh, and that is where some players will be spawning in. Be aggressive, by the way, guys. I want us to be borderline spawn camping. This is about borderline spawn camping right now. But this is where they come in. Somebody might come in. The best ways to deal with maxes are explosives, like rocket launchers and C4 and grenades. Bullets will do it. But they take a while because maxes have 2,000 HP, and also you can get some armor that reduces small arms fire by 50%. You can choose between whether explosive or 20% rather. It's explosives 50% less. But you got a big ass armor suit. Bullets don't do as much. We have taken all three points of this biolam. Once this generator goes down, that allows us to capture the spawn control unit in the middle of the base. And if you take down the spawn control unit, the enemies can't spawn in. 
kill the DT. Oh no, he got away. That was a cloaked infiltrator staring in my face for a split second before he realized I was staring right back. There he is again. In order to fire, they have to uncloak, but I can hit them uh, even while they're cloaked. Usually the hit indicator is what gives it away. Even while in a max, I'm always moving. We got 48 seconds. So with multiple point bases like this one, uh, if you're capturing two out of three points, you start capturing the base. But it takes significantly longer. Three out of three points is over twice as fast as two out of three. I don't know the exact numbers, but I know if it was two out of three, it'd take like five minutes, uh, maybe six. If it, with uh, three out of three, it only took us two or three, so. Ideally, you get a nice clean capture like that, but this is uh, actually on the more rare side. This is the other spawn room they got over there. You can see the teleporter icon. Let's go ahead and make our way over to the southwestern jump pad and just continue this search. Oh, buddy. Got him. Remember, Max is our phrase, so Get a couple not a of surprise. To repair the generator, everyone else, southwestern generator, or jump pad. Generator. We're going to the other jump pad. So the air pads of Biolabs have jump pads that they can use to jump to connecting bases. Each one is kind of unique in where it goes. But that can help you. Why, hello there. And you can, you can be shot in the air. And also other people can be jumping from the other side. And you can hit each other. Technically you can knife in the air. It's not incredibly reliable. Uh... <laughs> But that is only if they're going both ways with it. There's a lot of ways. I think that is, like, in the tutorial, it never taught you that in order to get to this base, you take the jump pad from the edge of the air. I think that is a, a lot of the frustration with Planet Side is things like that. Even, it took me a while before I realized, oh, so this is how you get around. And, and to be honest, oh, there we go. to be on, oh, I'm not following the squad. Um, it took me a while. Like, one, it, you're not going to understand the maps and the bases. And each base, well, not every base is unique, but some have unique attributes. The area they're surrounded by is unique. So, like, this one is connected to the biolab, so there's the jump pad, pad aspect. And also, the spawn room is super easily campable. Uh, like, good luck. If they are trying to get out this way, good luck. They have to come through. They can't even see us, but we can see them on the way. So if they don't have overwhelming forces trying to come from that direction, it's a terrible idea. Do we not have a single medic in the squad? We don't. I think we had one medic. <laughs> So this is uh, incredibly disproportionate amounts of force. Uh, right now, there's like three, maybe five Varnu. Uh, and there are over a dozen of us unloading everything we got in the general <laughs> general area of those five. Points getting flipped. Points getting flipped. I want a couple of people to go back. But they did get behind us. The sneaky Vanu. There's a few areas like they can go out the side. Got to keep an eye on the mini map. They've actually retaken the point with one guy. All it takes is one. Since we're actually pushed up past the point. Oh, God. Two concussion. Uh, two 
Two so concussions. Roughly even pull up now. Let's double back the point. So now the Vanu are redeploying in. Oh. Oh yeah, we're, we are pulling pop. Uh, you can see now it started out. We were at ninety percent to ten percent. Now it's forty-two percent to fifty-eight percent, which means we still have slightly more people, but it's getting a lot dicier. Infiltrator, did you see that? My my time looking for Dark Templar in StarCraft has trained me very well for Planet Side, because the shimmer, like the cloak animation, is very similar. Oh. Oh, big boy. You can see that mini-map. It's going to get real hot. They're going to be lobbing a lot of grenades in here. Ah. Here they come. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> I got hit with a rocket launcher and by the Vanu Max and by some just extraneous bullets. So that uh was pretty rough. They executed a pretty strong attack there. Ten, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take heavy assault and I'm gonna drop back in on the top using the spawn beacon. Can you hear me? This is a terrible idea, though. Um. Incursus, can you hear? Oh no! He said yes. Oh, ah. no point. Because there's n almost no way. That's one of those like. Undermarine, well, deploy your Sunder at Bravo Waypoint. Once that's that one of those like, well, to spawn onto that. I can do that, but they have free maxes, so it's probably not going to go so well. We're not doing great on the alert. Uh, uh, the alert that people will get most competitive for are, is the continent lock. It's the whoever wins this gets Deploy. the most rewards in terms of certification points uh, and ISO, and sometimes directly just items. Sometimes it just gives you items. Whereas the other alerts, like the um, basic alerts, like maximum pressure, they give you rewards, but they're not as like mission critical as ideally winning the continent. But the most important part of Planet Side is learning what you like to do. Like the, the most obvious, I think, is being part of a big group of coordinated people and surging the point and understanding that while my death is meaningless, Victory for the Republic is forever! Darren! But, I mean, to each their own. Let's see how much ground they're willing to give up. Let's keep pushing. Yeah, move. Defuse the mine. So we've retaken the point. They didn't expect us to come in with a big wave of reinforcements over the hill. I'm going to try to come around the left side, which is a little risky, but also could be a good flanking position. I'm using... So it's your both your mouse buttons. You can't aim down sight as a max. You have two arms... They can both fire. Oh! Oh no! I took a rocket to the face! I need. So, engineers repair maxes, but medics revive them. Which is a little confusing. Oh no! Another rocket! That one wasn't to the face. We're holding the hill. For now. I need an engineer! Oh, I'm hit again! Oh no! I have an ability that allows me to repair myself slightly. Um, but where are my engineers? MJs! Love me! Thank you. The engineers are... Well, everybody is going for their attention. Oh, uh, infiltrator, but too close to friendlies. I can't keep firing. Magic! Please! Hey! Over here! Right here! Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Because nobody loves me. You 
Proximity chat is also good for when you're- Oh no! For when you're playing uh, things like Maxis or wanting to accomplish objectives because otherwise... And, and people won't always listen to you, but it's much more likely if you're yelling at them, they'll at least hear you. And if you point. yell in a productive-ish way... Um... I'm just switching to... The soundtrack. The music in game isn't nearly constant. I wish there was an option for just like constant music, but I'll play the soundtrack. Releasing the point. Get on it. Ah. Back up the hill. And understanding that you can actually run up this hill is a another important part. You just learn the bases, right? Like. Back to the point. Glory to the Republic! Down he goes. Battle rank seven! Who that? Also understanding quickly who are friends and who are foes. That just comes with time. I need engineers. Thank you. So we're under siege here. But we do have the point. And we got one minute on the clock. Oh no. We're losing maxes. I'm just firing into the smoke where I know friendlies are not. Because they're there's a pretty good chance of hitting something. Behind! Oh, they came behind. They came from behind. And now we're gonna try to bring it back. Here we go again. We're tilting back and forth. Oh no! Light assault! No, our Sunderer! Reps on Sunday! Light assaults will try to be sneaky beaky bastards and and use their jump guts to uh, snipe Sunderers to keep us from spawning. But I put an end to that. There's one up. Ah, it doesn't matter. Back to the points. Back to the meat grinder! Oh, fuck you! Engineer! Somebody! Why are there no engines now? What happened to my engineers? I need an engineer! There's none! Where is it? There's not a single engineer! There's usually an icon. I, yeah, he had an icon on him. Gotta try a different angle. One more. Rocket! Ah! Uh. Uh. Got enemy armor outside, killing our spawn points. Yeah, once oh, they get our spawns, thing. every time I'm getting a max. We're losing control. driven us off the point, but we still have spawn points to reinforce. I killed a teammate. I don't know why a teammate was there. I probably got a new deployable barrier, but there are a lot of issues about it. Like a big choke your hitbox instead of a separate object. Uh, yeah, the Prowler service. has a very cool-looking barrier. It isn't very practical, but it is pretty fun. 
Oh, we're going to Sarah Listening Post. It's under attack! I'm gonna play as a medic. I'd advise you to keep an eye out for not hands. I'm gonna let the other people take the maxes now. Because supporting the maxes is just as important. I don't see a single max in this squad. Thank you, Atholius Skeletor the Tarask. Don't forget to keep pulling maxes, guys. I went the wrong way. Oh, shit. Take out the beacon. No more spawns for them. Not for now. But I'm all on my own. They're probably upstairs. Crouch. And... Oh, there's so many angles when you come up those stairs. Enemy armor north and northeast of the base. So this is a three-point base? This is one of the most unique bases on this continent. Because there's, there's a vehicle-only capture point, which means you can only capture with a vehicle, which is pretty rare. And then there's a normal capture point on B, and then there's a point that's way up a hill as well that's still technically involved. I heard NC fire. I don't know where it came from. Just going to keep pushing. Follow my platoon lead. Run towards the bullets. He's getting rezzed. The C point is up that hill. Usually you need vehicles, but let's do some mountaineering. Uh oh. Incoming Sunday! Can we send her on the road, focus fire heavy? We'll keep moving to C. Take some ammunition. The uh, animations for running up hills are less than smooth, but running up hills is amazing. Oh, they're dueling. Who wins? The mosquito's smoking, and he bailed. Coward. Go down with your ship. Orbital strike on tower. What? Whoa. The NC launched an orbital strike at us? But why? They're not going to take this base. Number 9, number 10, and 11, I want you to stay on CR or listening post C to make sure they don't care. I can't spawn at listening post C. Curtius, I want you to pull some spawn logistics and anyone else actually with you some certain spawn logistics and make your way over to Echo Valley substation. Oh. Alright, you're battling it out over there. Like I said, this is, uh, it's getting pretty late slash early. 2 a.m. Planet side is probably the most dependent of any game, almost any game, because it's an MMO FPS on plenty of people playing, which is why I want to bring more people in. And I think the update already has and will uh, the Escalation Bastion Fleet Carrier update and Outfit Wars and all that. Um, but at 2 a.m. is when you start stop getting is massive no battles of hundreds of people, and usually it's in the dozens, which is still a lot bigger, like bigger than Battlefield, but it gets a little bit more spread out. And it does get harder to find a, a good team to fight with and a good place to fight because individual performance is just by its nature, more important then. And as a newer player, it's probably going to be more of a struggle. Hey. Alright, Alpha, you to redeploy and take that beacon. Wait, what? Enemy medic spot. I just hacked the vehicle terminal. No, I've already got... What? What? You shouldn't be shooting your tanks in your bases. That is not safe. Meanie. Oh my god. Full I got stuck. Should be over at Echo Valley substation now. And yes, for my, my outfit on Saturday nights, prime time is usually considered to be like 6 to 9 p.m. of server time. No matter which server you're on. Um, but at every time except for like 5 a.m., 
you can usually find at least a fight. And understanding how to not be frustrated by that, especially if you maybe can't play every night at 9 p.m., that is pretty important. My teammate is hurt. This base we're taking almost for free right now. We've got three quarters. Come, come, come back. I want to heal. Oh my god. Stop running around like a fucking crazy person. Jesus Christ. So, one of the engineers deployed a hard light barrier, which is, you can crouch behind it, then poke up, shoot. Another thing to point out that I think is the source of some frustration for people. So, it makes sense when you think about it. But, uh, let me, we're gonna use visual aids here. So, here we have, here we have a Terran planet man. Okay, he's got his, he's got a chain gun. Or that's Terran Planet Man. So when you see that Terran Planet Man, and say you only see this much of the Planet Man, he can still shoot you. Okay, because he's not aiming from here, he is aiming from here. So, even if it looks like, like you don't see their gun, they're essentially shooting out of their face. Um, so all the more reason to hit them in the face. Because that's how FPS games have a tendency to work. Um. Because otherwise it would be very hard to sit with that disconnect. So, if they can see you, they can shoot you. 75 more seconds, guys. It's crunch time. Here they come. That's the summer. Uh, I think a lot of people get frustrated when they see, like, a little sliver of a guy, like, like poking their head out, and they're like, how did that guy kill me? How does he even shoot me? Because he could see you, so he could shoot you. Even if it looks like, like, you literally can't see their gun. That's just a logistical thing. I can't. They're on the point. Flash can't see. Oh, I ran into the point. You guys want to look behind you? Jesus. So, a good flank is very effective. I feel like where we where we went wrong there, speaking from experience, is literally everyone was looking in the front Maxis. doors. Oh yeah, I forgot about Maxis. Um... But almost essentially everyone was looking at the front doors. And then they came in the back doors. Next level place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is why a lot of players will claim hacks. Usually when there's a hacker, they're very obvious. And hackers are not uncommon, but they're not you're not gonna see them every day. They're pretty good about them. But sometimes there will be one. Like Sometimes will be players will be shooting out of the floor. Uh, sometimes they will be flying around at light speed in the air. Sometimes they will have a vehicle in the floor, but somehow be able to shoot you. So uh, those are obvious ones. But just because someone hit you and you didn't think they should be able to kill you, just means they're probably played way too much. Darren! Fuck. Ah, fuck. Ah! He's got shotguns for arms. Pretty much the NC. So, since new conglomerate players uh, usually play with a um, original Xbox controller, the first one, uh, or sometimes a trackball, uh, they just strap a shotgun to everything. 
and that way they don't have to aim. It's like having aim assist without having aim assist. I'm going to go all the way to level 10 today. And then I'm going to answer noob questions from the chat. I don't know how many noobs are in the chat. But I think this this was a decent demonstration. We had some good fights, some bad fights. Just the simple act, I forget. Starting out, the simple act of not running around a corner and dying repeatedly is hard to get a hold of. Oh no, shotgun! Here he comes! Ah. And that's really what we're trying to... Oh no, there's another one. Oh, they keep coming. Another one. Oh no, another. Oh, the shotgun. Punch! Slap his face! Slap! Slap! What is going on? He was actually, like, underneath oh. my cone of fire. Oh, is the alert over? Is this gonna cost me nanites now? Yes. But I'm still pulling another mix. Do any guns stand out as generally better? Your starting guns are some of the best in the game. Most guns are a side grade. As in, they allow you to play differently, but don't necessarily... Like, maybe you're someone who's really good at aiming. You want a gun that uh, benefits from accuracy, which is something like maybe a battle rifle. Um, that's semi-automatic, but if you hit headshots, can kill people very quickly. Um, or you're someone who likes running through doorways. Maybe you want, like, an automatic shotgun. Or maybe you're the NC and you can't aim, so you just want a shotgun of all forms. But there are pros and cons. Uh, understanding what is going to be... Uh-oh. So we're redeploying, I see. Full auto shotgun. Yeah, there's a lot of different things you can do, but I think it is, um, oh my god, they have me. We warp gated them. Yes, I'm playing a new character. Uh, I have a 1.3 kill death ratio while playing support on a new character, using only the starting guns and stuff I've unlocked so far. Um, the point is, to show it's not about in 1.3 1.3 kd is actually better than my average kd on my level 200 character so if we are in your platoon should we be able to hear your orders yes when i'm giving them right now i'm not the leader i'm a lemming that is my name winter lemming i'm battle rank eight and uh i'm i'm a private I was trying to make a better joke off that, but it didn't come out. Oh, where am I going? They're flying over an Where are we going? Oh, where are we going? Crystal Ridge Comaray. So we've cut off the way a continent lock alerts. So this is more general. Uh, for the next two battle ranks, or one battle rank, we're about to get a new one. I'll answer your questions, but the way a continent lock alert triggers is when at one empire reach 100 strength. There are objectives you can hover over. I am a... Oh, I'm a medic. Okay. We're taking the point. Oh, where are those shots coming from? Because I think staying down is probably not going to be a good idea. This is a weird position. This is going to get dirty. There's a lot of angles you can get hit. Upstairs and then Liberator above! Point, we drop down off point and then move back upstairs. And Valkyrie as well. Take cover. So once a faction reaches 100 Empire Strength, they trigger the continent lock alert and then players who will fight over the continent. Usually they'll have an advantage, the one who triggers it. I don't know if they get extra awards now, but they will with the Escalation update. 
and participating in things like that, the update isn't live yet. I'm making this before, about a week before the Escalation update. But that's why I'm focusing on the team play, fighting with my outfit, because that's when you're going to get most of the cool new stuff, is by playing with your team. If you're like, well, I don't like playing with my team. This doesn't really help solo players. If you want to go play solo, go download 140 fucking gigabytes of Call of Duty. Why is the game 140 gigs? Jesus Christ, Planet Side 2 is free. It's like 12 gigs on Steam. And you can play it today. And join my outfit for free. And die for the Republic. More Liberators. Oh my god, the team is getting mowed down. Trying to push forward. They're gonna be all around us. Got him. Caught his face. They're on the rocks. They have the high ground. Which is not good for us because of the... I showed you the Venn di the Not the Venn diagram, just the regular diagram. This is risky. Because when people see you reviving, they might go to just kill you because they know where you are. What? Sniper! Serpentine! Panic! Oh! Huh? They have a tank on point. Oh, I can't... I can't res them. Oh my god, there's so many aircraft buzzing us. This is messy for a small fight. Oh god, a mag rider. Liberator! Oh god, there's so many angles. Use that. Activate the ability. Res. I'll save you in Cursus. Can you give me a hell yeah, brother? It's a negative. He doesn't like being saved. This world is cruel. You just keep dying over and over. And that's it. That's your whole existence. Because nanites. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. There's two of them up there. Tank mines. Sometime, eventually you get used to seeing stuff on the ground. Honestly, you're going to die to a lot of sorts of mines and traps and stuff like that for a while. I still do sometimes. As soon as I saw that fire coming. Sometimes it'll be too late. Sometimes you'll be dead even around a corner because of how the game registers bullets. It's just a necessity. This many people involved. We still have the point, so that's what matters. Sniper way on that far hill. Alright. Gonna look for an I crouched. Crouching, crouch spamming is a thing you'll see a lot. It's one of the most reliable ways to throw off their aim. They aim for your head, they miss. So, most good players will actually aim. So it can give you a slight advantage without hurting your aim. You don't get in, from what I understand at least, you don't get a, that was a good life for me. Uh, I got six kills. Since I last died. You get like the uh, overview afterwards. Thank you, Probius. Oh, we're under attack. One to the left. There's a couple on the point. I'm staring at that mini-map right now to make sure I don't die around a dumb corner. I die around a smart corner. Very important. I think there's a couple on the point. Too slow. I didn't see that guy. I mean, he was above me, but I didn't realize he was there on that angle. He's probably still there. Nope. How do I get up there? There's a lift pad there, but I, it's exposed. Fuck, go for it. Wait, was there a guy? No, they're all up there. What was that last? 
saying if you want to pull armor, you can pull armor. I don't really care. We kind of need to dislodge this stuff, so if you got anti air stuff, especially, please pull it. Otherwise, try to kill it. I don't have any. He says to pull armor if you can, but I have no certification points in vehicles. And vehicles that shoot, vehicles that don't shoot are pretty cheap to buy stuff if you want to help. Like, for example, getting, uh, once again, on my Discord server, and there are more, there are some written guides as well. Oh. This is a bad position. They're all bad positions. We're defending for now, but there's probably one in here. He's in here. There's someone in here. Oh, about, he's about to come in the door. He's right outside the door. But if I poke, he said, well, you weren't lying. There's no window. There's supposed to be window. Somebody's on the point. Down he goes. You can tell because it was being captured and not by us. Oh, the second guy came around the corner before I could dodge him. I'm just respawning. I'm trying to get back in the fight as quick as possible. I would say if you died without getting a kill or you feel like you should have done something and you feel frustrated, take 15 seconds, kind of get an idea of what's going on on the fight before spawning back in. Because that's how you get frustrated. Like, you die three, four times in a row and you just don't want to play anymore. And that's kind of deny selling yourself short, in my opinion. Oh, how did someone die upstairs? Uh-oh. In between the spawn room and... There could be someone down here. Uh, he aimed better than me. Almost got him. No, no, no! Okay. Oh, there are too many. And that's... Sometimes... You can say no. By the way, with revival requests, you can press the Y or the N button to accept or decline. Like, for example, I'm getting rezzed again. You know what? I'd rather not. <laughs> I'm okay. That's not a great spot. Sometimes you can get up and run the other way. Oh my god. You see, this is the kind of like, okay. That was like two frustrating deaths in a row, so I'm just going to take a look. I'm going to decline the res because I don't think it's in a good spot because there are people out here. So what am I looking at? Mag Rider. A lot of people dying along this line. Where do I want to go? I'm going to push out around the back and around this way to try to flank. Oh no, that actually counter sniping. This is one of the few things that snipers are actually good at. Is getting rid of other snipers. Can I see him from here? Where is he? There he is. You can, these are one-way shields. Unless he pops his face over again. Ah. They are camping us right now is the disastrous position we're in. He's a little too far out. For those who don't know, there is bullet drop. And the velocity of weapons is very important. This guy, he's a robot, which means he has a membership, which means he's probably very well experienced. And that's why he doesn't stand still. All right. I'm going to try to get a heavy assault, but let's see if I make it outside. This is starting to turn into a very one-sided fight. So we're going to do a galaxy drop. Can you pull heavy with anti-vehicle? Uh, your default rocket launcher is fine for that. The default rocket launcher is a dumb fire launcher for... It, it does a lot of damage, but... Uh, oh, we're doing a full drop. stay down bothering the air? No, I have given my order. All right. I'm spawning to my galaxy as a heavy. 
So the default rocket launcher is perfectly fine. It's actually best at killing like sunders and tanks from relatively crow strength. Is there a rocket drop? Rockets drop more than anything. We're about to do a big drop. I'm gonna get my rocket launcher out. Our objective is to kill this. With the team. And now we'll kill anything else we can. First vehicles, and then infantry. There's a cloak. Infiltrator, destroy these squad beacons. And the max. Alright, Sunder is now destroyed. They should have no more major. What's your recommended for slot selection of auxiliary classes? Um Nano Weave uh yeah, as I've talked about, Nano Weave Armor is the best. Like, in order to not die unless you have a specialized purpose, Nano Weave Armor. It honestly, I feel like it should just be made default in the game to create more variety, but Nano Weave Armor is your go to for essentially everything. Uh, 20% reduction in damage, essentially across the board, is better than almost anything else, except for very specialized situations, which you probably don't have to worry about. So I'm a heavy assault. I have an overshield. There are different varieties of overshield. The first one, I believe this is the resist shield, which reduces overall damage. Uh, it allows heavy assaults to have the most effective HP of any class. So if they have that shield activated, they're harder to take down. That's a simple version. Oh no, this is getting real dicey in here. It's a mess. These are the kind of fights that take a lot of getting used to. And even if you are used to them, sometimes can just go very poorly still. Get to the point, he says. I'm getting to the point. I can't. I couldn't close the distance. We're about to lose it. I'm trying to get... Oh, no, they're everywhere. We just hit level 9? I hit level 9, but then I hit... Oh, there we go. So, the last battle rank for today. You mean advanced shield capacitor? Oh, auxiliary... Like, literally the auxiliary shot? You said auxiliary classes. Um, for auxiliary, either meg kits or C4. Uh, the auxiliary shield isn't particularly uh, helpful. The extra 50 shield is rarely enough to stop the amount of bullets that could potentially kill you. Thank you, Ride That Strata, for six months. So the other tabs you got down here besides your map, your classes, your vehicles, most of which aren't important, your implants, which that's kind of a whole nother can of worms that aren't that big a deal. Directives are like achievements, except way more complicated. Um, the platoon, well this is your social tab where you got your friends, your outfit, your notifications are things like people inviting you or uh, any re rewards you get, like a basic input implant thingy and then the depot is where you spend your hard-earned yes. real money on things um well mostly to look good look good play good as they say almost all the things you can buy are cosmetics You're technically you can buy weapons and the armor but it doesn't actually increase your effectiveness it just makes it less of a grind It appears we are in Sunders here. I'm going to play a little bit more Heavy Assault. I think if I was to do, and I don't know, we'll see. I'm pretty happy with what I've done so far with a beginner guide. And like I said, I'm not nearly as experienced with making guides for Planet Side, but I hope I explained a lot of basic stuff. I don't think you should be playing much Light Assault or Infiltrator early on if you do want to like play with the team. Um, but if I was to do, like, a level 11 to, like, a level 10 to 20 kind of guide, that would be like, let's check out Light Assault. 
and let's learn about hacking and uh, how vehicles and all that. But 1 to 10 is how do I not just constantly run into bullets? And how do I make them run into my bullets? That is uh, most Check of the thunders. important parts. Mm, I saw Vanu. I think he tried to run him over. I think he failed. I'm all alone out here. It's very scary. Ah. So usually a burst, see if you can take him down, and then fall back. This is the T1, this is the default heavy weapon, the T1 car with the reflex sight, making it a little easier to aim. So that's a two-way shield. That means if they're inside the shield, they can't hit us and vice versa. But of course they can just run back and... What are we doing? I'm trying... Even though I'm not getting hit, I'm kind of going back and forth because I know there are people up there. And I could get shot. It's just a good reflex to be... Oh. We're protecting our Sunders, our mobile spawn points. They have to be deployed in order to spawn. Um, but you can spawn into them with your squad as well. Our objective right now is just to hold on to our little mobile outpost. Our RV park. Oh. Oh, sh Aircraft almost came down on top of us. Oh. I believe we have successfully established the foothold, gentlemen. Let's see if we can make our way into the tech plant. Well, oh. is that a revive? Thought I saw a glimpse. This weapon is not nearly as accurate at that range. I need to get within like 50 meters. Taking cover as I reload, because 100 shots per per drum, essentially, but it does take several seconds to reload. Yeah. And it does take a while before you kind of get used to... You can literally turn the gamma up at night. Oh my god, did you see that? Something came by us. But, uh, Vanu are definitely the hardest to see with their spandex armor. Form fitting. Okay, we got tanks coming out. Just fire my rocket. Acknowledge it has some drop, but it's gonna be hard to hit from anything other than point blank. Kinda just get a feel for it. Against, like, deployed Sundays and other stuff. Yeah, let's bring some data users. We've set up a foothold, now let's try to push in. Oh, here comes one. Mm. Ooh, that was close, he almost got me in the back. You can see some where some of the tracers are coming My out. I saw that guy rezzing, so as soon as he stood, as soon as he sat up, I put him right back down. There's someone shooting from all the way up there. It's a new conglomerate member. That's another faction. We're having a nice, good old-fashioned three-way right now. The Terran is holding the uh, eastern front, where the new conglomerate are more to the north and the VS are defending the base. Please get inside Incursus's Sunderer. Where's Incursus's Sunderer? We're gonna do a gate right, diffuser nice. attack. So, there's a utility upgrade for the Sunderer. I know I'm throwing a lot out there. But it can go through defensive shields. It, it means you can't get access to some of the other options that are more defensive and, and give you more effective HP. But it allows you to do this. We're in.
Was that guy behind me or? Fuck. He got the jump on me. Is that my friendly Sunder? Who's in it? Oh, if I get in his Sunder. And then if they're in your squad, you can spawn them. They're using them as elevators because you can hop in from the other side of the shield. Essentially, you go in the back and come out the front, if you know what I mean. Actually, that's literal. Oh, no, he's aiming better than me. Jeez, he gunned me down. Can I... Get in. Are there three factions here? Yes, it's 43% Vanu, 35% Terran, and 22%... Uh, new conglomerate right now. We got a squad beacon. I'm gonna try to get... You can actually control the squad beacon as you come down. Doesn't always help that much, but it allows you to adjust the course of it. I looked at... I alt tabbed. So if you stop moving for about none seconds, a sniper will be sitting on a random hill somewhere ready to take your face off. That, that is a rule of planet side. By the way, so keep moving. We flip the vehicle terminal, start pulling vehicles from it. Just uh... I'm sorry. I shouldn't be alive. Don't worry, now I'm not. The heat on both heavy and light tank is a bit useless. Uh, heat? I, I, I haven't played enough with the heat. I usually decide whether I want the anti-infantry or the anti-armor cannon. It's usually the anti-armor unless I see an opportunity. Like, if I'm playing with a team, it's usually anti-armor. So. But I don't have a strong opinion on the um, balanced one. Now I'm on the top of the tech plant. Am I all alone? Yes. I don't think we have the option to do a gate shield at this point. Our, our current objective is just survive. Wish me luck. What the? <laughs> Where did he come from? Okay, I'm in. I'm all on my own. Enemy tank? I got bomb. I was looking the other way. Oh no. Oh my god. I don't want to talk about that. He panicked, but so did I. And I panicked harder. You see those sneaky cloaked Vanu at night? And their spandex? We're trying to hold this hill. Well, we'll see how well it goes. Are you not dead? Incoming side! Bring it down! Keep holding, gentlemen! Scythe close! We're just trying to hold this hill. Why? For the glory of the Republic! And maybe so we can attack the point, but it's pretty desperate at this point. They're coming over the top. Here they come. There's so many of them. Throw a grenade, but grenades are the most... Oh my god, a cloaked flash! Wait. Yeah, a cloaked flash. Bounce this over the top. It worked. We got worrying about the physics of grenades is very important because physics of grenades are a mess. Oh, oh, 
Oh no. We've retreated. We're almost wiped out. <laughs> Who? What are you, NC? Putting a shotgun on a flash? They're right on top of us. There's a lightning. Another lightning! Take down the lightnings! Lightning! Oh! Did we lose the Sunday? I think we're losing this position. <laughs> These fucking cook flashes! Fight for the last man! Oh no. Knife! Oh, I'm out of bullets! We have friendly Sunderers and armor rolling up. Reinforcements have arrived, gentlemen! Look at <laughs> oh that map! Oh my god. The battle is escalating. And now we have flanked them. Our sacrifice shall not be in vain. This is the our Terrans rock. came to save us. Other outfits of our faction. They have incurred the might of the TR by taking this rock. There's also a ah. My face! See, look! Fucking Brando over here! No, the oh, they're leaving! Training. They're leaving! The we don't have a deployed Sunder. We need one pulled up. The, the might of the Republic is fickle. Abandoned by our own allies. They can't even save us for like 30 seconds. And that just leaves. <laughs> they showed up. Decided that it wasn't worth it because we were getting back captain right away. Alright, gentlemen. I think I'm done for tonight. Thank you for This was me. one hell of an emotional roller coaster. Thank you for leading. Do I have any volunteers on taking up the mantle? Yes. Someone do it. I, I know I want to get some flashes on the warp gate. I'll take it long enough as a flash wolf. Uh, who is that? Give name? Light wolf. <sighs> nah, harassers are better. Back at the warp gate and pull yourself a flash. So now we are doing an advanced strategy, oh, which is not a uh, territory control strategy, but is instead focused upon uh, increasing the morale of the unit. The you can you convince them you and shoot out the, all the other flashes, but that is legal. That vehicle fly was awesome just a second ago. Yeah, that's that's pretty standard planet. Hey, yo, that's a harasser, not a flash. Uh, and. Oh Sometimes my god, Jesus Christ. Race, grasses become flashes. And, uh, usually, since this is 3 in the morning, yeah, it's a little more rare, but, uh, that is something you can expect the... regularly at prime time, especially. So when you have enough people on both sides. It seems I'm not the only one who decided to pull a harasser. <laughs> We've got 30 seconds. I'll let everyone get themselves together for that long. 
Can you explain again what you're going to do now? So our new platoon leader, I did make it clear that I was volunteering to be platoon lead, uh, said to go to the warp gate and pull a flash. A flash is like an ATV. A harasser is essentially like a warthog from Halo. A bunch of people played, uh, decided to pull a warthog, uh, a harasser. This will accomplish us running each other over. Uh, and also driving. This is it, this is a race that it, we are racing now. Except I, like I said, in vehicles, it actually requires some certification points. There's literally an upgrade that makes you go faster uh, in most of your vehicles. I do not have that upgrade. So, at a nice leisurely pace, I will slowly make my way across the plains of Esamir. Well, uh, really, the rolling hills of Vesemir. While everybody else is way ahead of me. If only I had a halberd on this. Oh my god. <laughs> they killed the platoon leader. So close. Far away. Hey! Switching to this guy to commentate. That wasn't very nice. We've had over half of the participants de dead already. That's part of the reason. <laughs> away from the objective. The objective was to Alpha go to Ice Tech Pen again. In the lead by several miles. Miles? Not we use flash. meters! Yeah, Amateurs. What about the award for so I'll be taking questions. Uh, if you guys have any questions from the Twitch chat, if this is on YouTube, I'll do my best. I know there are a lot of productive people. So what I want to I want to first be clear about what's good information, what's bad information. When people tell you this weapon is better, or um, like I I feel this happens for all games, um, and most things in life, to be honest, is. It's very hard to step back from your own perspective and uh, uh, realize that even when you think you're talking about basic things, you're probably not. Like, for example, if I said right now, uh, do you think it's better to get the uh, racer or the, uh, the racer chassis for the Lightning when you're going for AP and working with repair sunderers? Uh, or if you don't have a repair sunder, is it maybe better to go for the control chassis and opt for fire suppression instead of smoke screen? So, uh, the answer you might get from plenty of experienced players might vary. But what I mean is, as a Battle Rank 9 player, Okay, nobody thought that was basic. That was, okay, maybe it wasn't the best example. Um, yeah, that was actually a really complicated and dumb question. Because the answer is racer at all times. But... <laughs> but... A, a better question is like, which what should I focus on first? Like, should I focus on getting one class geared out or try to try all the classes? It is better to focus on one, I think. Like, I would, if I were, if, if you really aren't a big FPS player or you don't really know, engineer or medic. Probably medic. Medic is the default. Heavy assault is good, but it's gonna, you're going to feel inspired to run into fights that you probably shouldn't be. Um... Even if you're a particularly good FPS player, the fights in this game are not, like, they're not fair. We don't fight fair on Planet Sun, because fair means too great of a chance of defeat. Uh, you want unfair, you want to win as many times as possible, which means don't let your opponents have the high ground, like I'm doing right now. How the fuck did you, what the fuck is going on? Oh, Zon, Kwee Kwee! Oh no! I'm gonna die. How did he even get behind me?
and you will. The, another fun part about plant fun or whatever about planet side is you're not thrown into a man for the bunch, bunch of randos. It is three in the morning, Eastern time. We're on the Eastern server. Zanquiqui, the uh, Vanu sovereignty member over there who does a lot of the shooty goods. Uh, he plays a lot later at night. So do I. So I I get an intimate relation with his bullets uh, on a regular basis. And you grow, like, um, uh, rivalries, and, and you, there are people, like, especially uh, uh, another one that's especially true is if you like to do some sort of specific type of play. Like, for example, aircraft. Like, there are a limited number of people who are really into aircraft, and a limited number on other factions. Oh, this isn't going to go great. Quick, quick! And you'll you'll meet those people time and time again. I just need a few more bars of experience. Probably best by just doing some revives, but I wanna I wanna kill them once. They're coming around a corner. Grenade. So another thing about grenades is the grenade animation takes quite a bit. So. Getting the hang of it is hard and has a lot of room for error, but throwing the grenade while you're behind a wall and just when you actually throw the grenade popping out, uh, that is, it is a learned skill for sure. Uh, wait, what? Who's hitting me? There's one in there. There's a light assault. He's in here. Oh, it's him! No, I was so close, his shields were down. I was so close. I will find him, and I will kill him. My last mission of this new player guide is to kill one of the best players on the server. I don't care if there are five people with me. I will kill him. I don't care who I have to go through. Oh, he's up there. It's still him. It's still him. Oh no. Oh, I can't aim. It's him. He's still there. Oh, that was terrible. This is a bad idea. He's still in there. Right? He's still up there. He saw me, right? There's one guy downstairs. I gotta kill this guy first. They're coming up the stairs. Orbital strike incoming. Is that him? No! Ah! He got me again! You might be like, can't you be like an infiltrator or something? He'll see me. He'll see me though. He'll, he, he's gonna point it out so quick. We lost the vase. Is there any way to get back up there? Where is the Sunder? Where am I spawning? Uh, this is another thing, like, if you don't understand the bases. So one of the best ways to get passive certification points is putting a Sunder in a good place, because every single time somebody spawns at it, you get a little bit of XP. It adds up over the hundreds sometimes. Maybe there are some bases where legitimately it might be thousands of people. Where'd he go? He's not over here. Wait, fire. Ah. That's not him, though. He would never be an engineer. Is that him? No. Finding him is going to be hard, because he's probably redeployed at this point. Who's that? It's not him. You can tell by the skins he has. That's not him. No! Is he still in the fight? Oh, we've taken the base, which means he might come for us. There's a uh, mag rider. Wait, where is said mag rider? Don't tell me it's where I think it is. Who's firing? Isn't this friendly? I thought there was a mag rider on the ceiling. 
Mag Riders are fighter aircraft disguised as tanks. For those who do not know, they do not obey. They're essentially the Rocket League cars of Planet Side. Cloaking module on Sunday? It is pretty good. Oh, yeah, testing in VR. You can test weapons and stuff in VR. Get at least a feel if it's like the type of weapon you like. You can look at stats, and um, there are targets to test it on, but they're not always perfect. Because it's not like a moving target or anything, but. Where is he? I bet he's he's still got to be in this fight. It's a good fight. Is he? I don't see him on the uh, leaderboard, which is a track of people in the fight currently, like during this battle while it's being capped. Oh. Uh, it's not a perfect measure, but a lot of people use it for EPing purposes. Oh, there's someone close. There's a guy right here. Is he up top? He might be a light assault. I think he's a light assault. I'm kind of tucked in here. Oh my god, you can actually just go to that side of the boxes. Okay. Oh no! Is that him? No. You're not him. Where is he? Where are they? He's not in the fight. I can't tell. He might be in this fight. Well, I'll try to pick up the kills to get to level 10 here. Smartly, instead of revenge. There's one to the left. Outside. So you gotta recognize they could come around the right on this one. And that's an example of one oh, from Salt Team 6 was his outfit. Also, because it is client-side registration, essentially when you fire on your screen, if you hit a target, you'll hit the target. But same for them. So what that means is in the however much ping you have to the server and back, if you went around the corner, or they did, they'll still get hit by the bullets because your client registered that your bullets hit. Uh, so that's why sometimes you go around a corner and you still get hit. I um, throw the grenade, and that's an example of how not to throw grenades. I think I've killed more teammates than enemies with grenades in my planet side career. Oh my god, getting so close. He's probably in this fight over here. This is a mess out here. We've got an armor column. Okay, okay. We're gonna play medic for the rest. Sorry, like, planet side is at, uh, well, besides the massive battles out on the open field and the fights for bases, some of the best parts of planet side are like in the smaller battles where you get these rivalries. It can be frustrating, but you gotta like, understand you don't just because you can't 1v1 it up. I should be able to get up here right I don't know EMP I'm so scared what's going on I will save you keep your head down no my face what like I said random infiltrator on top of a hill We're getting driven back. Once we're driven back all the way to the Sunder, it's literally just us getting farmed. Same guy. We have some air support, but it's not enough to stop them. Oh, my back. You see, if you, if you try to revive someone, that's one of the biggest issues with 
newer medics and what I just did right there. The This guy seems like he died in a pretty dangerous position. Let's go revive him. Well, that's how you have two dead bodies. <laughs> Another one. One more shot. Who will be the lucky? You. He didn't. He respawned at the last second. That'll sometimes happen. He respawned not by my revive, that is. Alright, then I'll shoot someone for the next XP. Who's the lucky winner? You. Uh, kill assist, okay. Battle rank 10! Oh yeah, you can move while reviving, including behind uh, cover. Once you start a revive, it only is broken by sheer range. It doesn't matter where the range is to. That is an important point. You're talking about sniping medics. So, for example, like if I start healing this guy, I can heal him through the wall. Same with revives. Thank you for my point. Or maybe revives. See, that's one way to... T <laughs> Scythe. But that will wrap up the uh, beginner's guide. I hope it was at least somewhat helpful. Um, I know there was a lot of stuff that some people who maybe played in the past already know. And uh, I didn't cover... There's a lot. Like, trying to explain it all without just sitting there and, like, essentially lecturing for an hour and a half about what the menus do is hard. I've never really put that much effort into it before. Um, but I hope I showed because I started out as a new character, same as you will, uh, or you have. And I was still able to fight with the Republic. I was still able to kill enemies. I was able uh, to be a productive member and have some rivalries and all of those exciting things. Um, but I'll take some questions, um, some basic questions, and maybe not so basic questions. And then um, I will be wrapping up this, whatever this. So what's happen what happens on the medic side if they decline the res? You just don't get revived. Like, they don't get the XP unless you take the revive. Uh, you don't get a notification they rejected it. It just... You don't get revived. So, if they reject it. Um, so, it's not it's not like a big deal. Also, another thing is revive grenades for medics is something, if you're playing a medic, you definitely want. It's exactly what it sounds like. You throw it at your allies. This one you can throw at your allies because it revives everyone who's dead within the range. Why play TR over VS? Because I'm not a uh, spam dick spandex fetishizing scumbag that depends entirely pretty on much if this cat goes through. there's an animation where your dead guy sits up yes uh referred to as zombies because they like sit up a little bit and they have a little aura and that means they could revive and usually happens a lot with the revive grenades um just a link okay, to download Planet Side. Well, Planet Side 2, we're on Steam. Planet Side 2. Uh, any any other questions? I'm trying to look through like anything else obvious I missed here. Besides a, a whole bunch of stuff, but hopefully enough to get you started and not be quite as uh, likely to run around the corner or run through a door or run into the open field or run in all these other places or not run stand still and get sniped when should you aim down sights and when should you hip fire uh aim down sights whenever you can except like within 20 meters uh, let me try to come up with something clever here so if you if they are if they are within the bloom of your crosshair if your crosshair is over double, twice the size of the player, or like one half the size, I'm at one half the size, that's when you hip fire. So you see here, I'm running, hip fire. Buddy's over there, aim down sight. Those are teammates, but you get the idea. That's a general rule. I just made it up on the spot, but you kind of get a feel for it. Some weapons are better with hip fire. 
obviously things like sniper rifles are pretty poor, but things like, like machine guns, not so much. SMGs. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and not take that res because I'm about to die horribly. But understand that if you're playing at 3 or 4 in the morning, it's going to be a little harder to find a fight. Um, though hopefully with the escalation update, it will escalate to that not being as much of an issue. But if you really want to find uh, the most massive battles that will make you regret not upgrading your computer in this or, or the last decade, well, uh, especially on weekends, in the evening, for your server time. And ping is an issue, but honestly, sometimes I play on European servers and the U.S. West server. U.S. West server, I get about 80 ping. Europe is about 110 to 120, which, while noticeable, is not a big issue, especially if you are just looking to play with a team. So sometimes if I really want to play... Um, and I, I want to play in bigger fights and stuff. I'll play on the European server. Uh, and here, a lot of fun broken English and all those exciting things. Um, but with that, hopefully you check out Planet Side 2. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully I upload this to YouTube and like and subscribe and be like, I like it when you play Terran, no matter how you play Terran Winter. Uh, and so on and so forth. And, and to be clear, while the Republic is superior, only because of their moral compass, the people who play it, and just their general demeanor, not because they are overpowered in any way like having better weapons. So, uh, with that, I'm going to hop off my level 10 and upgrade my levels by a significant amount. Thank you for watching. Good luck, Apple.